Good morning candidate. Welcome to our revision today. Uh, the question says how many fencing posts spaced 5 meters apart are required to fence a rectangular plot measuring 745 meters by 230 meters? How many fencing posts spaced 5 meters apart are required to fence a rectangular plot measuring 745 meters by 230? So in this question, it requires you to start by finding the perimeter of the rectangle. All the time, don't forget to draw a sketch. So you start by drawing a sketch. So you are told the length is 745 meters and the width is 230. So you start by finding the perimeter of the rectangular plot. How do we get perimeter? You get it by getting two length plus two width. So this is the same as uh, saying 745 times 2 plus 230 times 2. So this one will give you 1950 meters. So our perimeter is 1950 meters. So after you get the perimeter of the plot, to get the number of posts to get the number of posts uh, you divide distance by the interval you divide the distance by interval in this case that our distance is the same as the perimeter which we have calculated as Nine, uh, 1950 so distance is the perimeter that we have gotten and the interval we are given as 5 meters so we come and say number of posts is equals to 1950 divided by 5 these are meters these are meters so you multiply by one post so uh, after dividing, you get 390. So our answer here is 390 posts. Uh, it is important to note that sometimes you can be given a, uh, you can be given at the measurement of a plot and you are told there is a gate. You are told there is a gate. For example, you can be told a gate measuring 2 meters width. So, in that case, where there is a gate, where there is a gate, after you get the perimeter, after you get the perimeter, you should subtract the measurement, the width of the gate. So, for instance, if you are told the gate is 2 meters, uh, the perimeter will be, you would say, 1950 minus 2. Then now, after you, you, you get the difference, now you divide by interval, you use the formula, distance of an interval plus one why are we adding one because there is a gate because there is a gate but if there is no gate you don't add one you just divide distance by interval but if there is a gate to be distance divided by interval plus one that is how we work out this question so all the time when we are working out this question it is important to check whether there is a gate first so if there is a gate you find perimeter subtract the uh, subtract the gate then divide it by interval and then add one so keep on following for more revision questions uh, until we do our KCP thank you